What's up everybody? Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews here. So I was scrolling the Amazons recently when I came across an accessory for the Nintendo Switch that blew my mind. It's a device that mounts onto your Switch Pro controller that also holds the Switch console itself above the controller. So today, we're gonna take a look at it. The Fixture S1 gaming controller mount is made of plastic with rubber grips to keep your Switch in place and protected. It allows you to elevate the console for easier viewing and eliminating the need for Joy-Cons in landscape mode. For $40, you can get the mount in black and gray like the one that I have, or you can get it in the classic Nintendo Switch red and blue. Or for $65, you can get the mount and a hard shell carrying case. I regret it, but I ended up buying them separately because I thought I could just use the mount first. But once I got it, I realized it's not easy to travel with if you don't have a container to put it in because it is not very portable unless you have this case. You can get the case separately like I did for $30, but I would recommend saving yourself some money and getting the combo deal. And I have come across cheaper versions of this mount, but this one had by far the best reviews on it. So I decided to pay a little bit more for the quality. There is a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself as well and see some of the Amazon reviews. Now, one of the things that I really like is the angle it puts the switch screen at while you're playing it. I much prefer handheld mode for the switch, but with the joy cons being so small and prone to stick drift, I find myself not playing it as much because of that. I also have the satisfy grip, which is great for handheld mode, but because of the issues that joy cons sometimes have, I still prefer using the pro controller. But if you want to see a review on the satisfy grip, which is fantastic, leave a comment below and let me know. Now, when it comes to putting your entire console on this mount, you got to make sure that it's secure. What I really like about this is that where your joy cons slide in, this mount also slides in and keeps your switch in place. I wouldn't go crazy with it, but I do feel like it would stay in place no matter how you move the mount and the controller with it. Now, one thing to be aware of though, if you have the mount fully extended with the screen and you set it down, it does become very top heavy because the switch on the mount is much heavier than the controller. Another cool feature that this mount has is tabletop mode where you actually take the controller off of it and set it on a table so it almost has like its own little monitor arm. Now, while that feature is really cool, I would recommend not doing it too often because while it is durable, I do feel like it would wear the arm out much more quickly because it has such a tight grip on the controller and you're constantly having to kind of bend that plastic to get it on and off. This mount is also great because it keeps the USB-C port still accessible as well as the Bluetooth pairing button for the controller. Now definitely be aware that this mount does not fit the OLED Switch console and it also doesn't fit the Power A controller. It is only for the Switch Pro controller and the non-OLED model. Overall, I think this is a fantastic option for your Switch arsenal of accessories. It's totally dependent on how you like to play this switch. For me personally, I think it's great not only because of having larger hands, but also because of the angle that it puts the screen at and how compact it keeps your entire switch package. The hard shell carrying case is great as well because it has a nice mold to fit the actual controller mount, as well as a sleeve that not only holds 10 switch games, but also acts as a screen protector when the case is closed. And then it also has a nice zipper compartment as well. I would say that this case is absolutely a must if you plan on traveling at all with this setup. So all in all, there's a lot of pluses about this setup that take an already great traveling game setup and make it even better. I feel like it's a little bit more ergonomic with how the screen articulates and gets a little bit higher for you. And I just like the feel of it in my hands. So thanks so much for joining today. Be sure to join the Freaky Tech Reviews family by subscribing below and helping the channel grow. Also leave a comment below and let me know what products you'd be interested in seeing me bring to the channel to review. But thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate you stopping by. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. I'll see you next time. <music>